Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk to you about traveling to Haiti in 2023. Actually, instead of talking about it, how about we leave the resort and go and do it? Here we go. In this video, we're going to leave Cap Haitian and head out looking for some real tropical Caribbean vibes. If you only listen to popular media, you'd believe that Haiti has absolutely nothing to offer tourists. But as always, I'm here to clean that up and give you the real on the ground experience. In Haiti, prices often fluctuate based on your ability to negotiate, and prices always come out cheaper when you speak the local language, Creole. Private style. Here we go. <laughs> For the simple low price of 20 bucks per person, we'll have this water taxi for the next few hours. We got Joe on the drone. Despite there being a cruise terminal at Labadie, it's questionable how much of those foreign dollars actually radiate into the local economy. Tourists often stay tight to the terminal complex at Labadi, no doubt missing out on the cultural beauty that Haiti has. Yahoo! Oh my god. Official sponsor of this video, Baba Anku. Thank you, Bullet. Haiti. Yeah. Low key, one of the best parts about Haiti is the food and the drink. Amazing. Despite being similar to the food found in other islands, Haitian food is often underappreciated across the Caribbean diaspora community. If you haven't had Haitian food yet, you're severely missing out. So you guys still don't want to go to Haiti, huh? Yes, still sir, want to go to yes Haiti? sir! That's it! Yes sir, that's it! <laughs> Joe is the official hype man of the channel. <laughs> That's what we're gonna eat. 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 That's We finally arrived at our destination. Welcome to Il Ara. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect romantic getaway for a couple. Entry to the island is somewhere between 15 and 20 per person. It's 1000% worth it. Guys, here we are on an island just off the coast of the rest of the mainland of Haiti. Um, it's called Il Ara, I think. I might have to check that. I'll put it in the bottom of the screen here. The place is beautiful. $20 to get here. Just jumped in a little a little water taxi and we got here. It's amazing. You have people out here sunbathing, relaxing. I love this place, Doc. Just an hour and 15 minutes outside of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This is paradise, bro. If any of you need a trustworthy driver to take you from Cap Haitian, 
Hit up Roche. His information is in the description box below. Remember the, the uh, conch as well as the lobster that we bought a little bit earlier? Check it out now. Mombagai. You ready to come to Haiti yet? You ready? In order to avoid the really big waves, we had to get out of here. Everything in Haiti is about negotiation. I love it. <laughs> Joe, what do you say? Everything is about negotiation, That's huh? That's the way it is, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Most prices are flexible out here. Amen, amen. I told my brother here, the price line negotiator. Instead of taking our driver back into Capation, we decided to have a little bit of fun and explore the place by moto. 30 minutes ride for about $3.33? You can't beat that. These steep drop-offs are the most fun part, but also the most dangerous part. This is where you could very easily lose traction if you press gas, and also lose your hat if it's not down tight enough. And just like that, Pops lost his hat. But don't worry, big man to the rescue. Doesn't this remind you of running suicides in gym class? R1 Turbo. This is how you get exercise on vacation. Meanwhile, under the influence of a lot of rum. Tell me, does this look like the Haiti that is portrayed in the media? Does it look like the Haiti that's crumbling? I want to hear from all of you folks in the comments below, especially those of the Haitian diaspora community. This is the part of the hill that I hate. You guys ready to come to Haiti yet? You ready to start skipping over DR? Haiti's ready. See you in the next video. Peace.